guys and welcome to the Catholic Blogger. Um, today's topic will be um, being Catholic, what Catholic means to me. Um, and um, I'm really excited. I'm going to also be showing some, some of my Catholic pride um, shirts and jewelry and pieces that I like and love and um, reminds me that I am proud to be a Catholic every day. Um, uh, we'll also be discussing later on, um, you know, in the next couple months, we'll be discussing how to become Catholic. We'll be discussing some controversial su subjects, um, including scandals surrounding the Catholic Church, um, and numerous topics that are often emailed into me asking, um, asking me questions or, or challenging me, or um, just a lot of Catholic myths and rumors that I would like to bust. Um, you know, because I, you know, I'm, I'm proud to be Catholic, and you know, I figure since I get so many emails of some misinformed people, some people who admit that they don't know enough to make the judgment on the Catholic Church, I, I just like, I just want to um, kind of bring that all out. Um, some of the topics that will be coming up and discussing um, in my MythBusters <laughs> um, video playlist for the Catholic Blogger will be um, Mariology, why we honor Mary. Um, the intercession of the saints, um, why we honor the Pope, um, creed books, why we use them. Um, the the topic a lot I get is saying that Catholics are more political rather than biblical. Um, we'll be discussing that. Uh, communion and how it is the real body and blood of Jesus, the real body and blood that you're receiving at communion and the Catholics are the only one that get the actual body and blood of Christ. Uh, we'll be talking about confession, which is one of my favorites. I've lived a, um, in the past, I've lived a very sinful life, um, and I'm so remorseful and I'm so thankful to be Catholic that I'm forgiven, and, and it's a wonderful thing. Confession's a wonderful thing and, and um, exclusive to Catholicism. Baptism at birth versus believer's baptism, there's a difference. Um, in order to get to heaven, a lot of people believe that you just have to accept the Lord as your Savior. Um, but we're going to be talking about the works that you have to do in order to get to heaven. Um, a lot of other, just, you know, topics. Um, I get a lot that Catholics take money to absolve their sin, and, and that's not true. It stems from, you know, some bad Catholics in the past, a, while, a long time ago. Um... But we'll be talking about that later. Um, just just a lot of letters, um, a lot of questions I get, and I'm, I'm really excited to be actually able to have this forum where I can express my views and opinions. And in, in no way is this a judgmental channel. In fact, it's quite the opposite. And, and in this topic today, I'm talking about becoming, being Catholic, and um, one of the great things is that we, we don't judge. We accept everybody. A lot of times we get, we're under heat saying, we don't accept that lifestyle, we don't like this, this is not right, this is right. But the thing is, is we accept everybody. You know, we can show you the Catholic way, the Catholic faith, and and that's what's great. Um, just side note, really quick, um, before I do the opening prayer, um, you know, I've been to other churches. I, I you know, I've, I was, I was, I was raised Catholic. I had my first communion, all that stuff. But I never really got down the path that I am now, of going to, you know, daily mass, going to mass every Sunday. Um, until a couple of years ago, but I've gone to other churches, Lutheran churches, born again churches, just different churches, and and all of them, not all of them, a lot of them were very judgmental. They would not let me in because of the way I looked or because of what I've done in the past. And again, we'll get we'll get more through that as I do more vlogs. But um, the Catholic Church is wonderful. It accepts everybody. I can go, you know, dressed how I want. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because I'm there. Um, to to uh, to give my thanks to Jesus, and that's what's, what's important. So, just an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. <sighs> Dear Jesus, um, please give me uh, the words to express my thoughts, emotions, and convictions clearly in this video. Um, please allow my words to come across as inspiring and motivational, rather than judgmental. Um, please just give me the strength to keep doing these vlogs, and please bless all those who are watching this vlog. Um, glory be the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. Um, okay, so great. So let's just start um, with um, why I love to be being Catholic. Um, you know, I kind of I kind of mentioned it already, but but just the fact that we accept everybody. Um, 
I encourage everybody to look into the Catholic faith. Um, it's got just wonderful, wonderful ground um, to accept everyone. And again, I don't want to get too much into my past at the moment, but um, I was down and out um, for a while, about the age of 19, and I had to move back with my father. Um, moved back into the house with him for about a year and a half, and during that year, I went to daily mass with him, and I started going to church, and I something something spoke to me saying this I'm, I was on the wrong path, and it, it sent me in the right path that I was supposed to be going. Um, I get a lot of, of, of criticism for how I look and for what I used to do, um, but but that that's that's in the past. And that's what's great. And the Catholic Church has helped me move forward. And even though I was ashamed of the life I was leading, I'm now so proud of the life I'm leading now. And um, I, I really owe it all to Jesus and um, the Catholic faith. So that's one of the reasons I'm really proud. The other reason is, is the Catholic Church was the original church. It was the very first church and the only church started by Jesus Christ in the year 33, 2,000 years of Christian tradition started by Jesus Christ, and this is one of my favorite shirts, it's part of my Catholic pride, is who started your church. And on the back, it has all the other religions listed and who started them. And if you see, in 1517, the Lutheran church was started by Martin Luther. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd rather follow Jesus Christ. I'd rather follow him than some guy who just got sick and tired of Catholic rules and just decided to make his own. So, I just, I think it's such a wonderful shirt, and it just makes me proud that I'm, I'm part of, you know, the Catholic Church, and Catholicism is universal. The very first church built was the Catholic Church, and that's the universal church, and I think that's, that's an absolutely wonderful thing. Um, also, I've got Catholic silly bands, and I think this is great. I got them from the Catholic Company. I've got a cross, and a, and a, a dove. And the fish and silly bands are great, and I'm so happy the Catholic Church has now embraced them. They're just fun. <laughs> I'm all about having fun. Um, this beautiful silver rosary necklace that my father had gotten me in Mexico a while back. Absolutely beautiful. It's when I was just starting to find what my faith was all about and my path in life and the matching bracelet. Beautiful, beautiful silver. Um, also my bracelet of my favorite saints. We got St. Anthony. Uh, we've got Michael, the archangel. And Michael, St. Michael is a wonderful, interesting topic because he is both an angel and a saint. And um, I hope I can get my dad to come on here and discuss that about um, how he can be both. He's the only one that's both. I got the crucifix. I got St. Jude, which is my father and brother's saint. A confirmation saint for my brother, my father's middle name. Um, we also got St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, wonderful. And I also got some of the Popes and Mary on this one. And there's Padre St. Pio, where he is useless, God is more. And of course, my necklaces. I wear a crucifix every day and uh, the miraculous medal that my grandpa used to wear. My father got me one just like his, so. Um, also, my rosary that was made in the Holy Land. I say it every day, and it really does wonders, saying the rosary does wonders. So that's a little bit about me, the Catholic blogger, and uh, what, what is to come in the vlogs, um, you know, for the next couple weeks, couple months, just stay tuned. And um, thank you for watching, and uh, God bless. God bless you all.